And uh, so Loretta asks this question. James White uses Revelation 1.10 to defend a Sunday Sabbath. Could the Lord's Day be just referencing John being transported to the Day of the Lord? I'm not exactly sure what the end part of that means. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, the question still stands. James White, James White uses Revelation 1.10 to def- defend a Sunday Sabbath. What would your response be to that? Well, um, <clears throat> And obviously, in the prophetic uh, literature of the Tanakh, you have uh, Yom Adonai, the day of the Lord. Um, and the day of the Lord in in the prophetic uh, books is uh, regularly envisioned as the final day of judgment. The day of the Lord comes as a day of salvation for his people. It comes as a day of judgment and destruction for those who have uh, uh, rejected him and so forth and so on. Um the we know that very early on in the after the destruction of the temple and the rise of uh, emerging Christianities, um, we know that there was this this enigma with the Shabbat. Um, it had be it it was the typical uh, tradition not to fast on the Sabbath. Uh, we know that there is a tradition that the Pharisees fasted on the Mondays and Thursdays or Mondays and Wednesdays. And so in the Didache, which is usually dated to 100 of the Common Era, an early, some say Jewish Christian work, others say Christian work, uh, some say just Jewish work. Uh, it's definitely uh, a Messiah uh, is there, Yeshua is there. So it, it definitely uh, are the followers of Yeshua. But in this early document, the Didache, um, it, they they use the word day of the Lord to mean Sunday or the first day of the week. And so uh, we know that there was a separation early on over this issue of the Sabbath. And uh, it, it began to mark the identity of the emerging Christian church. Can we find anywhere else in the scripture where day of the Lord clearly means the first day of the week? The answer is no. There's none. So if we take all of the times that we have day of the Lord or similar uh, phrases. Lord's day. Yeah, the Lord's or day. Lord's day, right. Uh, but there, the, the Lord's day is, uh, in the, okay, so that, that's a different term, actually. And, and that's and that's what we have in Revelation. Let, let's read right. this real quick. So right. I'll right. read uh, Revelation uh, 1, 9, and 10. It says, I, John, your brother and partner in the tribulation in the kingdom and the and the patience endure the patient endurance that are in, that are in Jesus was on the island called Patmos on account of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet saying so right. that that's uh, nine and ten so he he specifically uses Lord's day right but that's the word kuriokos and. Uh... It's only found one other time, if I remember correctly. Um, it's found in First Corinthians eleven. Um, oh, uh, eleven somewhere. It's, it's okay. Let, here, I'll give you music. Let's look it up. No, 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 no. I have it here. Therefore, when you get when you meet together, it is not to eat the, the Lord's supper. And so here you have not Lord's day, but you have the supper of the Lord, and it's the word same word kyriokos. Okay, so kyriokos does not mean uh, it does not relate specifically to a day. Kyriokos means belonging to the Lord. So, and, and it's from the word kurios, obviously, okay? So it means belonging to the Lord. So it, it, in, in Revelation 1.10, it says, I was in the Spirit on the day that belongs to the Lord. Now, what is the day that belongs to the Lord? Well, if you find, again, just in terms of, of Hebrew, if you find it in a construct state, which is the way the genitive would be used or the possessive, the possessive would be uh, demonstrated, uh, the, uh, it means a day that belongs to the Lord. The day of the Lord means a day that belongs to the Lord. In what way does it belong to him? It belongs to him in that he shows himself to be the sovereign judge and the sovereign savior. So, oh, no, wait, hang on. I want to make sure I understand. Are you, are you suggesting that the day of the Lord here in Revelation 1.10 are you saying that it is or is not Sunday? It is not Sunday. It's not a day of the week. It is the period of time in history when salvation history comes to its conclusion in terms of the the separating of those who are his from those who are not his and the judgment day. Okay, and what okay, all this. okay but, but I'm sorry, I, I used the wrong term. The Lord's day, what he uses in Revelation 1.10 is different than the day of the Lord, right? 
It is, but okay, it's so, but but it's the only uh, in terms of in terms of you mean the Greek. Yes, correct. So yeah, in Revelation right. one ten, are you suggesting that that is or is not Sunday? When he says, it, "I was in the spirit on the Lord's day," what does no. he mean by the Lord's day? I think it could be Sunday. I don't. I don't think it is. But it, uh, no, I'm quite certain that it isn't because we have no other instance until later on in the in the uh, Christian literature where we have Lord's Day. This term "kuriokes," "kurioke hemera," or the day that belongs to the Lord. Um, the that we have no other instance until later on in, in Christian uh, literature where that is specifically said to be the first day of the week. However, now, let's let's compare the two times that this word kuriokos is used, uh, kuriakos, I guess I should say, um, which is used in the Apostolic Scriptures. What is the table of the Lord in 1 Corinthians 11? It's the altar. It's the altar in the temple. He says you cannot you cannot uh, partake of the table of demons and the table of the Lord. What are the table of demons? The table of demons is sacrifice, sacrifices at the pagan temples. What is the table of the Lord? Go back to Ezekiel. Read it in Ezekiel. He uses the word table of the Lord to refer to the the altar. Okay, so it means the altar upon which the Lord is uh, magnified, or the altar upon which the food of the Lord is placed. So the only other time we have it here is in Revelation 1.10. If it means the altar that belongs to the Lord, it means it's the day that belongs to the Lord. So the chat room chimes in and says, according to the Gospels, wouldn't the only possibility be the Shabbat? And then they quote, the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath day. Okay, that's fine. But the, I think that it has more cogency to parallel it with the day of the Lord that we find uh, in, in, in the Tanakh. 